Want to speak real Filipino from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at filipinopod101.com. Hi, my name is Erica, and welcome to Filipino Top Words. Our lesson for today is how to respond to how are you. Let's go! <laughs> Kamusta? Kamusta? How are you? So the first word is how are you? In Filipino, kamusta? So this is very useful when you pass by someone, you want to know how they are, right? Or you just want to ask someone how they are. At ikaw? At ikaw? And you? At ikaw? Or in English, and you? How do you usually respond when people ask you, how are you? And you? So if you are trying to avoid answering this question, you can ask, at ikaw? Or, and you? Probably you're like feeling too tired from work or something, right? Or you can, like casually, more people would say, e ikaw? Or just simply, ikaw? It all means, and you. So it's a kind of like a nice gesture if someone asks you, how are you? And then you want to ask the same question because you just want to be nice. Kamusta ka naman kamakailan? Kamusta ka naman kamakailan? How have you been recently? So if you want to be more, um, more specific about the uh, asking them how they are in a certain period of time. You can ask, Kamusta ka naman kamakailan? Or, how have you been recently? So, probably you would have friends that um, would have gone to vacation or would have found a new job or would have graduated from university, which is only. And then, <laughs> you can ask them, how have you been recently? Mabuti ako. Mabuti ako. I'm fine. So how do you answer all these how are you questions and variations of how are you? First, you can say, if you are really feeling this, Mabuti ako or I'm fine. Of course, you can say it if you're not fine, right? I mean, if you just want to like, because sometimes when you say, uh, I'm not so okay, I'm feeling a bit down, then they would ask you more things. But sometimes if you don't want to answer any of these things, but you are not fine, you can still say, I'm fine. But in Filipino, you ask people like, how are you? you ask people, how are you? Because you want to know how they are. Or we don't really say this as a greeting. Okay naman ako. Okay naman ako. I'm not bad. Aside from I'm fine, how can you respond to how are you? You can say, Okay naman ako. Or, I'm not bad. So if you are feeling like um, saying that you are not so fine, but you are also not not fine, you can say, well, I'm not bad. It's okay. Everything's cool. But I'm crying inside. <laughs> I'm dead inside. Okay. <laughs> Inaantok ako. Inaantok ako. I'm sleepy. If you're feeling sleepy, you can say, Inaantok ako or I'm sleepy. After lunch, usually that's the time when you feel this, like, you're really, like, sleepy. Even though you have lots of work, you're feeling sleepy. Or sometimes you don't have lots of work, you're feeling sleepy. So, you can say it. It's valid. It's okay. Just don't say it to your boss. I don't think if your boss asks you, How, how are you? Or, I'm sleepy. Oh, that's not really good. Well, probably you should go home, not come back anymore. Goodbye. Thank you for your service. Uh, that's how it will go, right? <laughs> Masama ang pakiramdam ko. Masama ang pakiramdam ko. I'm feeling bad. Or if you are not feeling so well, you can say, Masama ang pakiramdam ko. Or, I'm feeling bad. So, you can say this if you have a bit of cold, for instance, or your stomach is upset, or um, what else? Or you're, you have a broken heart, like those kinds of things. So if you want to say that you're feeling bad, you say, Masama ang pakiramdam ko. Okay ako. Okay ako. I'm okay. But what if you're just fine? What if you're just okay, but you don't want to say, I'm fine? Or, mabuti naman ako, or ayos naman ako? 
You can also say casually, okay ako, which is very casual. <laughs> very simple, okay ako. Okay na okay ako. Okay na okay ako. I'm great. If you want to say that you are really doing great, then you can say, okay na okay ako. You would have to note that in Filipino, when you repeat words, it, um, what, what's it called? It's like, it's a superlative um, version of the adjective, kind of. But it's not. But it's kind of like amps up the, the impact of the, of the adjective. So it's equivalent to very. So you would say, okay na okay ako, meaning I'm super duper okay, right? Or if you're really, uh, for instance, sleepy, you would say, Antok na antok ako, instead of just saying antok ako, right? Salamat sa pagtatanong. Salamat sa pagtatanong. Thank you for asking. And for instance, um, you were feeling bad and then this person that asked you, how are you, made you feel happy, then you can say, thank you for asking or salamat sa pagtatanong. Because, of course, you felt happy that someone asked you, especially if you're feeling bad. So that's it for the end of this lesson. Hope you learned something new. And what do you usually say to your friends, your colleagues, people who ask you how you are? And how do they respond to you? Leave them in the comment section and don't forget to like, subscribe, and visit filipinopod101.com to learn more Filipino. Salamat! Hanggang sa muli!